I'm mm. so that I can do this. Oh, I guess. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's kind of thinking Guys, about could Beth do the jacket. comments or could I do the comments? Mm, you want to vote? vote? You want to vote? Who else has this wallpaper on their phone from Katie Waldow? Is that a thing? Isn't it the greatest? I don't. I'm obsessed with it. She put it on her stories. She did? And she was like, hey, Jenna. <laughs> no, on her it's stories on for phone. everyone. Okay. You I know what I mean? Yeah. Is Isn't she, it sweet? Is this something she's doing? Is this a road trip cross-country yeah. feature? She's using her photography skills. Okay. She's very talented. Super talented. Hi, Katie, by the way. Hi, Katie. Sure you're here. She might be. You know what Katie I mean? Katie might she's be here since she's on the road. Yeah. Katie? I don't think she is, guys. I just don't think she is. Maybe, okay. Maybe. We're here to answer some questions if you have yeah. any. Yeah. If you don't, that's okay. We're still here. We'd love to hang, hang with you. How are you? Cindy's Just first question. Hang out. Thanks for joining us, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Jenna, how are you? I'm good. Really? Yeah. I usually hate rain, but today is like just the right amount of overcast mm -hmm. for me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Does anyone like rain? How do you guys feel about rain? Tell us everything. Is it raining when yeah, you I'm not are? into it. It makes me sad. Big day today. First day of school. First day of preschool. So Beth, excited. how are you? Cindy asks. Uh, I'm okay. Great. I'm okay. Great. You know what I mean? I just, prayer was fine. Did you go to um, mass this morning? Yeah. How was that? Of course. I, miraculous. Yeah, it is. But also like normal. Sure. You know what I mean? I love the smell of rain. Loved the stuff. first reading today. When really? uh, yeah, when Ezekiel eats the scroll, mm -hmm. it tastes like honey. Yeah, <sighs> you love that. Love that. Oh, I'm that very like too. tactile, you know, very incarnational. So I love I love images. I could I never love... homeschool you. I can't homeschool tactile people. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Why? <laughs> Can you scoot over just a tit titch? It's not a word. Because it is. Healthcare workers unite. You all okay. know what a titch is. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Sack me up here. Sorry, Healthcare I didn't workers. Know. Hello. This is quite close. Is Guys. Kaylee here? Kaylee? She works Do you have with any healthcare questions? people. Do they ever use the word titch with you? What does it mean? Like move over a little bit. It means move. Like when we're moving a patient, she's gotta scoot them over a titch. I would love to Google that and find out. Let's do it. Hi from Italy. Florencia, oh, hi, do you Florencia. use the word titch? Have you ever heard that word? <laughs> oh, it's a small person, especially a child. <laughs> so it says you can word. use it in Scrabble. Okay. So it is a real I'm word. I'm using it incorrectly. But you know what? I do that all the time. I <laughs> no, do that all the I actually do. It says used as a way of talking about a very small person. A titch. No, here we go. He lowered his voice just a titch. Okay, I don't. So there's mm, other ways to use it. Okay, guys, I don't. Yeah, a very small person, a small child. Now you know. I hope it's not like an inappropriate thing. I don't think it is. You know what I'm saying? I though. do. Yeah, but I don't think verb. So. I love that word etymology. Verb, like the meaning of words. You know. It says there's a verb option, but not what it means. A small amount of something. Okay. Small amount of something. It doesn't necessarily mean to move. You know what I mean? No, I'm saying can you move over a titch is yeah. what I said. A yeah. very small amount. Mm -hmm. Guys. This Thank is your you, favorite Sarah. Part of okay. Also an RN and know that word for sure. Okay. You got to move the ventilator just a titch. Mm-hmm. Just got to do some stuff. Okay. I was a respiratory therapist. Changing lives. No. Changed my life. Something yeah. good. This is my favorite part of John. That second charcoal fire. Have yeah. you heard the commentary on the translation of love and do you love me? Well, to be honest with you, Sarah, I love that <laughs> part. Thank you for your honesty, Beth. But I refrained from talking about it today because my heart broke a little bit when I was reading. I almost got into it and then I decided not to because I'm still, I think I'm still processing it. In the commentary I read, okay. which is, can you hand me that red one right there? Can, can I? see it? Yeah, would you please? Thank you, Jenna. Tactile learner. Okay. John 21. <clears throat> Here we go. Three times Peter affirms his love for Jesus 
as personal restitution for the three times he denied him. The dialogue in Greek makes use of several synonyms. Two different nouns are used for sheep and two different verbs are used for feed, know, and love. Although this may be a stylistic feature to avoid redundancy, others think it more significant, especially the verb love. Here we go, pay attention to this. In the first two questions, Jesus asks Peter if he loves him with, quote, willing love in love. Greek. Okay. In Greek, agape, agapeo. But in the third question, he asks Peter if Peter loves him with merely, quote, friendly affection, filio, which is the word Peter uses in all three of his responses. <sighs> Do you understand what I'm trying to say here? An intended distinction between these terms would indicate that Jesus, desirous of a complete and heroic love from Peter, was willing by the end of the conversation to settle for friendship. Wow. I always heard what? that it was the opposite. Yeah, I what? always heard that it was philia, philia, agape. But no, Peter sticks to philia, philia, philia. And Jesus in the end says, okay, I'll take philia. That's crazy. Doesn't that break your heart? Yeah. It makes wow. me so sad. Wow. And listen, this don't it don't come at me. This is um this is I think Scott Hahn. This Ignatius is Ignatius Catholic Study Bible Gospel yeah. John commentary. So here's the thing. I, and I thought about maybe incorporating this. I don't know. I, again, I was still too sad to do it, I think. That Jesus will meet us where we're at, but his desire is for complete heroic love. Do you know what I mean? It's crazy. Isn't that crazy? That's but he, he crazy. does say like, yes. Uh, oh, Sarah, you already knew that. You knew that. Yes. I see it as Jesus saying, Philia how do you love me? Start. Yeah. And Jesus will get you to agape. Well, that's more beautiful, Sarah. I should have called you because I couldn't get there myself. I just was sad. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because I always thought it was the opposite. I always thought. Like, even when Peter says, like, yes, Lord, you know, you know that I love you. Mm -hmm. But, like, that my faith is so weak, but, like, you know that I agape you. No, I was wrong. I was wrong. It was philia the whole time. Philio the whole time. Crazy. Yeah. But, yes, Jesus will get us there. Yes. I think I just desire agape. I just die at the end of this. Was willing by the end of the conversation to settle for his friendship. This is what I, I think. That's it, crazy. I think it's the language of the commentary that put me over Willing the edge. To settle Willing to settle. Like, I friendship. don't want Jesus to settle for my friendship. I want to love him completely. Wow. You know? But also, how merciful. He just sure. wants sure. our friendship. Yes. Sarah, Sarah's love. giving me a Bible study right now. <laughs> Peter, you will agape me. And he does. How Peter dies. He does agape him. Sarah, wow. you're going to make me start crying right now. I like really struggled with that when I, when I read it. I was having a hard time. Okay. Janet is talking about revival. Okay. And Cindy. Because Cindy asked, what do I expect from revival <gasps> going next weekend? Janet said, Janet. Cindy, you're going to have such an amazing experience. Get ready for your love to flow. Wow. I flew from LA to Milwaukee for day one. You did, Janet. Janet, I want to tell that you something. That is mind blowing. We did not get to meet, but you met what? basically every single volunteer. Janet, They're obsessed come with here you. Now. They we were want praying to meet. for you. They love you. Wow. Love you. And your husband came and surprised you. What? Right? Yeah. Janet. Am I, Janet, am I? Janet, are you? Is this the right? Is Janet? this right? <laughs> Janet. <laughs> tap tap. Is this thing on? Janet. <laughs> Let us know if that's you, Janet. Also, come to the Phoenix retreat because I want to meet you, Janet. You know, I want to meet you. You were the all star of the Milwaukee revival. O M. <laughs> The jizzle. Jeez. Oh, Brittany. What? Hi, Brittany. Did you get my text this morning? I did. You probably texted me back Beth already. Beth didn't text me, so I didn't get any I text. Did. Okay. I didn't actually. Um, I did text you. Cindy said, oh, love Cindy. meeting you at Revival. Revival is just such a beautiful encounter Praise with Jesus. God. Thank you for blessing she for all that you do. Cindy, thanks for coming. Gosh, I am still. Oh, I'm sorry. It was Nicole that asked. A Nicole, bit. please forgive me. I'm a little bit like, whoo, still from Dallas, well, just yeah. very moved, you know, by the Lord. Nicole said, single-handedly getting me through the week, prepping for rise. hey yo. Is there anything I should expect? So that's what they answered. Thanks, Nicole. Can't Janet. wait to see you. Can't wait to hug anything you. Anything to <gasps> expect? <laughs> <coughs> just Jesus. Yeah, I would just come with like, 
Brittany's going to be there this weekend. Praise God. You did get my text. Yes. She said, whoop, whoop. Um, Beth gives I the best hugs. I just want you to expect I... the Beth's hugs. Okay. I just want you to expect <laughs> Jesus to love you. You know, he just cannot mm-hmm. not love you. Mm-hmm. He can't hold himself back. Um, so I want to like mm-hmm. fan into flame your hope. I want to give you tremendous hope yes. for whatever you're coming with in your heart, whatever you desire. Jesus is aware of it. He's working on it. He will deliver it. Mm-hmm. 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 Can't wait. I can't wait. I've never been to Louisiana. Isn't that exciting? Louisiana? That's yeah. crazy. I've always wanted to go, but never been. I've never been either. Really? Yeah. Why okay. would I be there? Well, I don't know. Seems like a no hot reason spot. for me to go Do there. You know what I mean? Like there are so other many, than this, which so, I would love to be. There are so many women coming. I'm just like, this is like, this is a Catholic hotbed, and I'm excited to just. Sarah, did my you win. just post about rooted on your Instagram story? I feel like I just saw that. Using blessed cool. conversations with my new friend, discerning RCIA. Pray for Katie. So awesome. Cat. Cat. Sorry. We'll my cat. glasses are really dirty. Yeah. Also, I might be. Bad. Nicole, what? Hope is my word. First of all, I want to tell you That's something. I just, insane. I need to be more obedient to the Lord because the minute you asked me, I was like, hope. I just want you to wow. have tremendous hope. But then I was like, well, you're definitely going to experience Sarah. Jesus wow. and his love. Wow. Anyway, yeah, wow. for sure. That was for Emily you. said, please come to Oregon. God willing. Um, we would love to. We that would, would love be to. amazing. Um, fill out a side oh. application. When's the date for Phoenix? Because Susanna has her kids' confirmation retreat. When is Eight. it? Yeah, when is that? February seventeenth and eighteenth. Are you coming? Bring that whole sweet LA group with you. Love to see you. Beth Burns is hug coming. Hits different. That's very. I do love hugging. I love hugging. Funny question for good mood, Sarah Johnson. Here we go. What makes you laugh and where are you ticklish? Okay. (laughs) I'm already squirming talking about tickling. I H-A-T-E tickling more than anything. Oh, here we go. It's like causes me a lot of trauma. Tickling. Yeah, it's awful. I hate it. It's awful. Sorry, I said the word. I am ticklish. Literally, as if Jenna's going to tickle I'm me. I'm never like, going to do that to okay. someone. I would never do that to I'm you. ticklish everywhere. Everywhere. No. Neck, armpits. That makes me even more uncomfortable. Back, every, feet. You know, all the all the typical places where people are ticklish, Yikes. right? Yeah. Gabby's very into tickling right now. Just it's wants terrifying. me to tickle her. Terrifying. What makes you laugh, Beth? Then she tickles me back and I'm like traumatized. Um, what makes me laugh? Sarah, that's a great question next. Do you know? What makes, what makes you, you laugh? laugh? What makes you laugh? The funny things. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Kelsey, Kelsey. makes me laugh. Mike. Uh, Mike makes me laugh. Jenna makes me laugh. Jenna's true laugh makes me really laugh. Mm-hmm. Like brings me a lot of joy, you know, when I hear Jenna's like real laugh. Yeah. Instead of just saying, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, sure. Yeah, funny things. Genuinely funny things. <laughs> I don't know. That's good, Beth. What? Deep. That's good stuff. Right <laughs> okay, there. okay. Uh, okay, Sarah asked. I mean, can you answer that? What makes what you What are your laugh? answers, Sarah yeah, Johnson? Yeah, exactly. Okay, Sarah S. How do you discern what movements and prayer to share with others to encourage and which are just for you and Jesus? Sarah, that is an amazing question. Two thumbs up for that question. I'm still learning the answer to that question because... I have spent a lot of time Mm -hmm. sharing Mm. deeply intimate things with people who just did not get it. Mm -hmm. They were not there with the Lord. And so the experience I would often have is like, it kind of cheapens the grace when I try to, even with people who are there with the Lord, sometimes it cheapens it to talk about it. So I would say actually, I'm coming to a place in my relationship with the Lord where most things I do not share with people. Not because I'm trying to be whatever. Um, Maybe my spiritual director, maybe Jenna. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. Well, sometimes the Lord will like put someone on my heart and I'm like, okay, this thing you're 
you're asking me to pray for them right now. And this like image came up or something. Well, sure. Yeah. So then you would share it with that person. Yeah. Um, and if it doesn't fit right, mm-hmm. then it doesn't fit and that's mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. But like your bravery is good. Your obedience to God is, is good in that moment. Is that what you're asking? Like when you're, when God puts something on your heart, like when do I share that with a person? Or are you asking What movements about- in prayer to share with others to encourage and which are just for you and Jesus? Hmm. Your wow. answer was great. Great. Cause I'm feeling. What? I'm feeling really out of my depths here to answer. <laughs> what do you mean? More often than not, Jesus tells me what to share and I like pretty much don't want to share sure but then he'll be like no share that thing and i'm like great will do yeah there you go so i mean my talk at revival is like that every single time i give this talk and i share this grace i'm like are you for real you seriously still want me to share that grace and every time it's a yeah every time i'm surprised i think he wants me to like drink deeply of the grace myself you know what I mean? Yeah. He wants me to come back to it. So he has me share it. I tend to think the more we share with people, the deeper it gets in our heart. It's like a there lot of learning too. Mm-hmm. Like this thing happens in prayer. And yeah. when we say it out loud, we're like relearning it again. So true. He's like telling Jenna. us about it. in as at the moment that we're talking about it, he's like reminding us of what it was. Yeah. So things that I, when Beth like explicitly asked me what's going on with this, mm-hmm. and I'm like, oh, this is what happened. And it was like crazy. And then this happened. That happened with my spiritual direction last week. I was like, once I started talking, then it was like, oh, yeah. And then this, and then this, and then this. But I wouldn't have gotten all those connections if I hadn't started talking about it or been asked about it. Yeah. You know? Usually I ask you and you say, I don't remember. I don't remember, mm-hmm. which is why I need to say it out loud sometimes. Yeah, you know? totally. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Buckle up. How can we develop a relationship with God? Oh, my goodness. Spend time with him. That's a great idea. In the words of Father John Clote, time is the currency of friendship. Love him. He's at Holy Spirit in Tempe, Arizona. I mean, what a brilliant, so obvious, and yet. It sure is. And yet we don't always do it, you Mm -hmm. know? So just spend time with him. Eucharistic adoration. Um, in his word. Yeah. Love that. Mm-hmm. Carol Lee, any Hi, tips Carol for Lee. not losing your faith in college? Obviously oh. join that Facebook college gals oh, group. Good. Sorry. I'm going to be, I'm going to be at a Catholic school. So hopefully I'll be able to keep it. But part Where's of that? my heart feels like my faith isn't my own, but rather mm. something that is expected of me by people of authority. Mm. I think most people's faith starts out that way, right? That we inherit our faith. Um, And and it's a process and a deepening, really, of friendship with God that's our own. You know, just like Peter in in the gospel today, um, Jesus starts with, he'll take what he can get, right? But he'll get us, as Sarah says, to agape. He'll, He'll lead us deeper into relationship. So don't be afraid. Don't, don't worry. It sounds like the Lord is setting you up in community. Praise God for that. Seek that out, right? Go to, is there student ministry on campus, the Newman Center? Um, Pray for for Catholic godly friends who want the same things and stay connected to him in prayer. Yeah, in his word, in the sacraments. Mm -hmm. Jenna, thoughts? Those are great tips. Nothing to add. Great. Christine asked, ever since becoming closer to God and more mm-hmm. in love with him. Yes. Praise the Lord. That is beautiful. Yeah. It feels weird to love someone more than my husband, mm-hmm. even though we're supposed to love God above all. I struggle with guilt around this. Wow. BD? Well, I was going to say, Jenna, because, you know, I feel like, anyway, I don't need to share all that. Are you sure? Positive. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Great. Anything else? I mean, you're married. Can you tell us about that? I mean, the more you love God, the more you love your husband. There it is. It's just insane. Mm -hmm. There is a purity to your love and a depth to your love that will grow Mm -hmm. out of your love for the Lord. It's inexhaustible. Mm. Christine, that is right ordered love. To love Jesus first is Mm -hmm. right ordered love. So yeah. guilt be gone in yeah. Jesus' name. Yes. Yes. 
Please come to NH. That would be New Hampshire. I am. Um, of New Hampshire. Is I looked into Frankfurt. New Hampshire for What's, a long time. I don't just know. Doing capitals right Barbara, now. check out the new Eucharistic Revivals site application. I'll, we I'll want to go you, where you are. We do. That's where we want to go. Want to bring Blessed Is She to your city? I have a, she wants to come to your Shannon city. said, I have a desire to talk about faith with my friends who also wow. have the same faith, but I guess I am scared. Any tips to not have fear? Sweet, Shannon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, I think don't overcomplicate it, right? Um, I think it's great to say, like, I had great prayer today. Or do you know what I've been reading in scripture? Um, I've been wanting to go to daily mass. Would you want to go with me? I think it could just be really simple, a simple invitation into conversation or prayer. There are a couple of gals. Um, uh, one of my friends in the well, Allison, she wrote a blog on this actually, how she had a friend who she knew was Catholic, but they never talked about prayer. They were never connected in that way. And then one day she just forwarded her friend a Blessed She blog. And that opened everything up for them and they started talking about faith. So it's just a very simple invitation to talk about something faith-based, you know? So, yeah, don't be afraid. It's going to be so beautiful. We also have conversation cards on our website. I don't know if Beth said that. Mm, I didn't. That are helpful if you're like, or if you want to do a study with people as like a way to get in the, hey, you want to do this with mm -hmm. me and start talking about the Lord? Um, I put a free study guide link in the comments and it's three sessions and just be like, hey, you want to do this, these yeah. sessions with me? And it's like a way to start talking about the Lord with yes. like a resource as opposed to like it just being from you. You know what I mean? I'm you. sorry if you shared all that. I, I didn't. Was I didn't know that, that was link. amazing. I knew. I figured. Shannon, let me tell you something. Just tell us. Came into Beth. my mind. Do not doubt that you are being led by the Holy Spirit. If you have yep. a desire to mm -hmm. talk about your faith with a friend, the Lord is in that. Perhaps he's the one inspiring that movement. And maybe this friend wants someone to talk to about the Lord. Um, so respond to that. I would say that's an inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And the more we step out in faith, the more we take those risks, the easier it becomes to take risks with the Lord. That's what that's I That's beautiful, Shan or Beth. Thank, Thank you. you. Sorry, I was reading Shannon again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Barbara, Dwell is going to come back in a couple months. Yeah, it is. If you're on the wait list, you'll be the first to know. That's a great idea. Cindy said, I write my prayer experiences in my journal as soon as they happen. I meditate wow. on it afterward and only after I feel like I process it better. Will I share it with someone else? If I'm called Cindy, to you? yeah, that's beautiful. It's very Ignatian of you. Alejandra, I just shared the link to mm -hmm. our Spanish study guide. We do have it in Spanish. We also have Blessed Brunch Hostess Guide in Spanish, conversation yeah. cards in Spanish, and a Spanish Instagram account. I was going to say, do they know about that? So I'll share it. But I want it all, I need to put it all in one web page. One oh, web yeah. page. Yeah. Is that the word? Yeah. Page on our website. There you go. Where it's all in one place. So I'm sorry that I haven't done that yet. But you are We're motivating gathering. me to We're do it. We're gathering the resources. Here we go. Do you know what I mean? Isn't the Spanish the best? I'll put the link to it in a minute. How, Hannah asked, how can we as Catholics Hi, explain with love to our Protestant friends the reverence, beauty, and necessity of the sacraments and why we believe in them? I'm also going to share a link with you, Hannah, which would be Father Parks explaining these things. Yeah, Hannah, I um, I would say, are you in relationship with those Protestants? That's a good question. Right? Like, are you friends with them? Are you chatting? I don't think, in general, those conversations can happen online, you know? Oh, okay. Um, I think it's hard to, like, go back and forth in the comments with somebody about, like, the beauty and the necessity of the sacraments. Um, I think those happen best over like coffee in the context of a loving, trusting relationship um, and always with an invitation like, hey, I want you to experience the fullness of God's love to receive him, like his true presence. And, and that's what communion is to us. So um, I, I guess I would ask the context of the conversation, right? Is this like in a comment thread or is this um, your roommate? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and ultimately what he said in that Q&A yeah. that I put the link to, it is freezing in here today, you guys. I can barely I'm so hot. I want to take my jacket so off. How cold it is. Wow. Feel my hands. Wow. That's what I'm saying. It's like an ice machine. <laughs> okay, Hannah, 
Yeah. He basically said it's all in scripture. There you go. It's very helpful. Yeah, that's so amazing. So even if you put like, where is confession in scripture in the Googs? The Googs will give you the answer. Yeah. You know? That's amazing. Yeah. Well. Oh, I was going to put the Instagram. Yeah. The Spanish Instagram. Okay. Sorry about I got that. another question. I'm going to take my. Oh, oh, Beth is hot. I mean, Okay. It's hot. Sarah S. Jesus is so good to heal wounds, deep, long-standing Amen. Wounds. And yet sometimes I still see how I may live out of those wounds. Yeah. Sorry, I read that weird, Sarah. Didn't mean to. Sorry. Like a pattern of behavior. I'm impatient mm-hmm. in the Lord's timing. Any tips? Yeah. Well, first of all, Sarah, he is going to heal you. It's who he is. Uh, sometimes that healing does take time, right? Think about the man in scripture. This might be something to pray with. The blind man in scripture. Jesus heals him. And then he tells him, what do you see? Tell me what do you see? And he says, I see uh, men, but they look like trees walking, right? It, it wasn't complete the first time. And mm-hmm. it's a great mystery why the Lord sometimes heals in an instant because he can and he does. Uh, and other times he allows it to be in process. Um, but he blesses the process. The process is no less holy than the instantaneous miracle. In fact, When I have received so-called instantaneous miracles, I can look back and see um, the movement, the faithfulness of grace in my life that made way, that removed obstacles for the miracle. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So in a way, it's kind of always process. It's all um, unfolding. Um, Things that have helped me a holy hour. (laughs) Um, just spending time before the Lord, even even when you don't think anything is happening, right? That just being in his presence, his mercy, his goodness washing over you, it's changing you. Um, counseling, therapy, um, inner healing prayer. Uh, there's a, an app from the St. Michael spiritual warfare center that has uh, like spiritual warfare prayers that could help just kind of clear the air, cleanse yourself with the precious blood of Jesus, right? Anything that needs help um, that we might be attached to and needs help like dismantling. I also want to share that the Lord is very patient and a complete gentleman Mm. and loves you deeply. And your healing will be gradual and beautiful, if that's his will. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. But be assured, he is a healer. For sure. It's who he is. Every time yes. we're in his presence, he heals us. Every yes. time. Every single time. It's inseparable from who he is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Celeste has a great question. And I want you to share something hey, that you used to do with the youth. The youths. Am I supposed to intuit this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you do with them? What did I do? (laughs) On like the Mm -hmm. first day, you laid out the cards with the saints. I did that on um, All Saints Day. Okay. Okay. Tell Celeste about it. What? Well, is there a question? No, I just want you to intuit it. (laughs) You want to intuit the question and the answer. This is a true test of friendship. (laughs) No, Celeste is asking. She's starting a girl run youth ministry what and so they wanted some saints to be patrons but also wanted to introduce the youths to saints okay there is now listen there is a resource out there called happy saints what yeah how come i've never heard of it i don't i i'm sure i have showed it to you no there are these little illustrations of saints there's like little icons of them and like a little quote and then a page like bio so what i would do every I hope it's still around. I, I mean, I was in youth ministry like five years ago, but we, and we did it for years. Every All Saints Day or, you know, the youth group, the week of All Saints Day, we would. Happy Saints, happy quotes. Is Can you it? even handle how no. cute? Look at Mother Teresa. No. Look at her. Look at her you little guys, nose. These are so Look at cute. JP2. Do you have to pay for it or I it's am, free? It's, it, oh, well, you pay for it. It's it 20 bucks. To, it used to be free. Well, there Beth might, was there buying, might be some Beth things. was buying them. Okay. They're flying off the shelves. There now they used have to, to be some things. Probably that's what happened. Anyway, <laughs> it is the cutest thing you've ever seen. Like the illustrations are adorable. The 
bios are amazing. Okay. They're, they're like just what they need to be. So what we would do is we would cut out the little icons. We would paste them on popsicle sticks and we would stick them in cupcakes. This is very tactile. All your tactile things are coming out. I, I would have just printed them, thrown them on a table. No, no, no. Just making them look cute. So sweet. So we turned them around. So all they see is the back of the little paper icon, you know? Yeah. And then we would say, pray a little prayer to the Holy Spirit that you would get matched up with your new saint friend. And so they would, you know, do they want chocolate? Do they want vanilla? It was so cute. And then they would pick <laughs> a saint. They would pick their saint for the year. Yeah. They would turn around. be yeah. a big surprise. Well. Shout out to Kathy Carlson, San Francisco Days Parish in Flagstaff, Arizona. She still does this. It's the greatest. They send me one every All Saints Day, my saint for the year. And then you hang the bio, we would hang the bios like up around the gym or inside the church. And they would like take their little cupcake and go and read about their saint. And honestly, the miracles that happened, the saints choose us. It's like that little cupcake activity is proof that the saints choose us was wild. Anyway. Buckle up, Celeste. Any good patron saints? Of what? Someone recommended Teresa Benedict of the Cross, a.k.a. Edith Stein. It's her feast day today. Yeah. Yeah. It's my mom's birthday, too. Would you say a prayer for her? Should we sing? Sing what? Happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what else would you sing oh, on God, someone's it... birthday? <laughs> Still Teresa Benedict of the Cross. I was thinking of Edith Stein. A.K.A. And I was like, Edith Stein. <laughs> and I was like, is there, is there a song about her that I don't know? I just sing it. That's it. <laughs> well, well, I'm glad. Uh, good patron saint is JP too. Mm -hmm. I think someone said that. Low key patron saint of blessed is she. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who else is a good patron saint for youth ministry? Oh, for youth ministry. That's what we're talking about. Sorry, John Bosco, obviously. He's amazing. He's a dreamer. There's so many like young saints that like any, if you picked a young saint, they could be your patron. It would just be so cool. It's like Carla so Lacudes. inflaming to my life yeah. that saints were young and mm. not like these extremely learned, really smart. Yeah. 70 year olds. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? 70 is the threshold for holiness in my mind too. So yeah, very healing Do you know what I'm me. saying though? Yeah, like yeah. they're just young and yeah. they're just freely loving the Lord. You could be like full, you could be with the Lord. You yeah. know what I mean? You I, could be super 12. holy as a, as a kid. Yeah. Crazy. Kiara, Kiara Luce, Kiara um, Corbella. She was a little older. She was married. Um, <laughs> Blessed Carlo Kudis. Love that. Wants his I mean, cupcake. Dominic, Dominic Savio yes. was a student of John Bosco. Yes. You could have them like tag team, you know, tag team back again. Check it. She'll let every time. Okay. I'm like, what is the second word in that word. sentence? I don't know. It. All I know is tag team. Okay. Um, <laughs> Kaylee, I struggle with maintaining my faith and communication with Jesus when mm. I don't have something weighing on my heart to bring to him. Wow. Any tips on growing that relationship in the quote, good times? Yeah. I um yeah I was with a I made I made a new friend this weekend, and he said the sweetest thing. He said when I was trying to learn the voice of God, different but similar. When I was trying to learn the voice of God, when I would walk into a room, I would ask the Lord where He wanted me to sit. Is that the cutest thing you've ever heard? Yeah, I would ask the Lord where He wanted me to sit, and it was helpful because. I, I think that's kind of what you're after is just turning to the Lord and everything, having more of a relationship. So mm. I had another friend who said he used to ask the Lord um, what kind of so what color socks he should wear every day. I used to ask that too. Like, what should I wear today? Um, so to just start practicing bringing things like that to him. Um, Didn't Mother Angelica do that too? Someone? Oh, yeah. With the she, shoes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got some new shoes and she went and took them to the chapel and showed Jesus right away. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so sweet. Yeah. You know, there are times like I'm leaving after, after the well and like my heart is just overflowing and I want to talk to someone and like share the goodness. And one night the Lord, I usually call Jenna and one night the Lord was like, do you like, tell me about it. Talk to me. You know, he, he just wants to be our friend. So anything I would tell a friend that was like mind blowing to me. And this was only like two, three weeks ago when the Lord was like, Tell me whatever you would tell Jenna. Yeah. Tell me what you would tell a friend. I was like, wow, you want to hear a lot of random stuff then. <laughs> yeah, he does. 
I also love in my prayer time, I do mm. lots of gratitude. So, Jenna, so good. I was also invited by my spiritual director to write down something like tangible mm-hmm. to be grateful for. Cause mm-hmm. I have a hard time going to be super honest with like bringing the Lord into the practicalities of my life. Mm. Like I'm very much like, let's just live in like the fourth dimension, but otherwise like my practical life, you're not really like a part of that or yeah. you're not like infused in it. And so her sharing and inviting me to thank him for the practical things, like thank you for my really good coffee that I had this morning. That mm. was like different than yesterday. Not even, I don't know. Yeah. But like, yeah. thank you that Mike brought me home flowers. Like, I don't know, these like things that it's actually the Lord that's doing that. Yes. It's the Lord that's bringing all good into our lives. Um, and so that's really helpful to me in my prayer time with mm-hmm. the Lord is mm-hmm. just being really grateful. Basically, the entire beginning of my prayer journal is like, thank you for each one of my children. And I just mm-hmm. like list like what I'm thankful for. I think that's so good, Jenna, what you shared about like thinking that prayer is this separate thing. Yeah. Like prayer is for like supernatural things or yeah. like deep intimacy or even like deep needs, right? Urgent needs. Yeah. But like to bring it into the practical is a, a really good practice. Yeah. Hard, but good. Yeah. He'll give you an orange every day if you ask. Yeah, amen. Thank you so much, Kaylee said. Those tips are simple but helpful. Praise yes, the Lord. It's been such a great resource as I've come back into my faith, especially as a high school. Oh, thank God. That's amazing. Hi, Happy Ireland. birthday to all these birthday peeps. What? What are some great Catholic books to read? Celeste, did you also ask? She asked about Catholic movies. I don't know. What, oh, Ben Hur. Is that a Catholic movie? Never I don't know that. any Catholic movies. I've seen a clip of it, but I've never seen the whole thing. Is Ben Hur Catholic? I doubt well, it. Well, Jesus is in it. To his hand. But really. what do you mean by a Catholic movie? Made by Catholics? I, do you oh, just mean my like... favorite movie. Oh, here we go. That is Christian. Yep, here we go. I would call it Catholic. I think people, some people think there's theological weirdness in it. Can't remember what it is. Do you know what movie I'm talking about? I do. Say it. I'm assuming you're Say talking it. about the star. Yeah! <laughs> you guys, have you seen the star? Jenna loves this movie. I forget the theological inaccuracies, but there might be something with Catholicism. But mm. I'm obsessed with it. Sarah, I love. If you haven't seen it, you will die laughing because Ruth, the lamb, sheep, I still don't know the name. Always comes back. She's so cute. Always comes back to Ruth. Love Ruth. (laughs) Um, Elise, your birthday today? I love. Happy Happy birthday, birthday, Elise. Elise. We sang you a song earlier. Rewind it. You can watch it. It's called (laughs) Teresa Benedict on the Cross, aka Edith Stein. This is the full title. Babette's Feast. What? Oh, is that a movie? Yeah, okay, Catholic yeah. books. That was Celeste's second question because I didn't answer about the Oh, movies. man. Catholic books. Cindy said, I look at BIS Amazon recommendations for books. They yeah. include the books they use for book club. Okay, well, we are doing a book club with the BIS members. This next quarter, we're reading... Beth is supposed to be doing this book, and she can't even remember what it's called. What's it called? I, I want to. No, I'm not telling you. I make. I believe in love. Torture. I believe in love. <laughs> I believe in love. I was thinking the way of trust and love, which is also about Therese and also has the word love in it. So forgive me, okay? I believe in love, and we're reading that this quarter. Jenna's pulling up the Amazon book recommendations. We love the series The Well by Stephanie Lansom. Yes. Uh, well, Living Water series. The Well is the first one. Love that series. I just sent bo- um, Steph the tomb. Why? Steph Salinas. Did she read the first two? No. You're just skipping? The first one. The tomb is the second one. But it's about no, Martha. No, The Thief is the second one. The tomb is the third no, one. No, The Thief is the last one. The Thief is the second one. Google well, it. It's about Martha. That's why I sent it to her. That's and true. I was like, it's that's not true. really like a trilogy. I literally, It's not like you have to read the other two. That's true. I literally had an image in prayer that I was like, is this from the Living Water series? And I, it <laughs> kind of was. In prayer? Amy, what? What? Tell us. Y'all suggested I go to therapy last year and it is changing my life wow. from the ground up. Family, Jesus, health, what? praise. Amy, God, that's incredible. Found Praise a great Catholic God. Therapist. Praise wow. God. What a gift. Wow. 
it just makes such a difference to like walk with someone, you know? Yeah. I'm so glad. Wow. I didn't mean to show that. Okay. Uh, You're welcome, Celeste. What? Okay, What'd He Leadeth Me is my favorite book. Not really. <laughs> Jenna. One of them. Jenna just recently read it and was just basically surprised that she liked it. And Have you read it, Celeste? It's unreal. It's amazing. Oh. It is truly amazing. What's another Catholic book? Well, Oh, I love The Lamb's Supper. Yeah, you do. You do love The Lamb's Supper. I love Scott Hahn. I love Rome Sweet Home. My... Actually, Rome Sweet Home might be my favorite over Lamb's Supper. I mean, my favorite book, it's like we're switching genres a little bit. Like okay. the Living Water series Catholic is... Catholic fiction, yeah. Catholic Living fiction. Water series. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I love, too, she wrote um, In a Far Off Land. Loved that as well, Stephanie Lansom. Love Stephanie Lansom. She might be Big here. Thing. Hi, Stephanie. I don't think she's here, but someone she did once be. send her the stuff, like that we talked about her. Yeah. I talked about her obsessively. She's in the Facebook group. And she was in the Facebook group, and I cried about yeah, it. Yeah, you guys. She she's, sent me a card with the butterfly with that us. I kept. I mean, it was it's a whole thing. Anyway, <laughs> um, but wow. prayer books, my number one favorite prayer book. I have two. Searching for and maintaining peace, Father Jacques Philippe, oh, yeah. and personal prayer: A guide to receiving the Father's love by Father Boniface Hicks, Father Thomas Acklin. Yeah, you guys, anything by Father These Jacques all... Philippe is going to rock your world. Totally, totally. So, time for God, so good. She loves time for God. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, Celeste, they're all on our Amazon. Oh yeah, book just check the too. check the book list. Kaylee, here's how the book club works. St. Therese is my confirmation saint. I've wanted to read I Believe in Love since earlier this year. Well, Look, come Beth on has down. wanted to read it since earlier this year okay. as well. Have you started, Beth? I have started, Jenna. When did I start? A long time <laughs> this ago. This morning. A long time ago. Started it. Oh, yes. I started it in January on my five day. And the Lord was like, put that down. <laughs> Which was good. It was a good thing. Yeah. But I'm coming back to it because we're talking about oh, it in shit. September. September? All right, guys. Any more questions? Uh, already read and loved the Living Water series. Sorry. Oh, Isn't really? Isn't it so good? So good. Did you read In a Far Off Land? Yeah, that's another one by that's her. I haven't good. read that one. I, I actually really loved In a Far Off Land. Really loved Fiction it. Fiction is hard, you guys. It is hard, it, which is why I read The Hobbit. I just What's feel like everything movie? is trash. Oh, people said movies. You know? The Mission. I, Life is Beautiful. Life's Beautiful is my favorite movie of all time. I've never seen it. Jenna. I've never seen it. It's What's my it. favorite movie? Let me think. Oh, Remember the Titans. Is We're talking it? about Catholic. Oh, Catholic. Because Remember the Titans is so Catholic. No, I, I'm saying I don't know. I don't yeah, have any Catholic yeah. ones. Why not have a Catholic oh, movie? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> but I love Remember the Titans. It I makes loved, my heart sore. I loved the Hobbit trilogy and the Lord of the Rings I've never seen that trilogy. Either. I, you know, I Wait, don't what think that you would really favorite, like it. Sarah? Ocean is it of really? Mercy? No, I think you're saying, um, Sarah, what's your favorite movie? Oh, Life is Beautiful. Not Remember the Titans. That movie is unbelievable. If your unbelievable. favorite movie is Remember the Titans, please like this video and subscribe. <laughs> you belong here. If not, <laughs> I still love you. Oh. It's in French. Ireland. Oh, what song, what worship song has been on repeat for you two this week? Beth? Go share Jenna, yours. I'm go. finding. I'm finding mine. All right. So I can give it to mine. <clears throat> mine is a little throwback. Okay. I'm torn. I'm torn right now. I'm super Lord, torn. Can you help her? I'm. You know what? I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with. You see the mm -mm. Go ahead. I'm gonna go with. Come to the river. <laughs> if Kelsey was watching, which I'm sure she's not. But if she were, she would be rolling her eyes at that answer. Come to the River by House Fires. Mm -hmm. And I listened to that song on repeat like all of last year. I received a grace in Milwaukee at Revival in 2021 that is the reason Rise, Ezekiel 47, is our theme this year. So I've been praying with this grace that's very connected to the song Come to the River. And we did that. Um, we did that song at the Dallas Revival. And I was like... Wow. Wow. It's just a moment of like a lot of things coming together for me, you know, and it's like just a soft place because it's already so prayed into for me, that song. Yeah. Jenna's sharing the blessed she's Spotify. Well, because Ireland has been listening to it. 
Oh, I don't what? listen to Spotify. My children do. So if you're ever on, if you follow Bless Oshie on Spotify, it's usually like Frozen. We were listening to Frozen 2 story time today. Oh. It was not good. Okay. I don't recommend it. I went mm-hmm. and found real books because that movie and book is, that movie is weird. Mm. Does anyone else think Frozen 2 is very you weird? You know who else does? My friend Noelle. She thinks that's a weird. It is weird. She doesn't like it. Okay. Joanna, I want to save your question for next week. Oh, can we start with that one next week? Yes. Don't forget it. Yeah. Any tips on how to surrender, how to trust Trust. and surrender to the Lord? Yes. I said it out loud so that I would remember it. I don't listen to Spotify, but I listen to YouTube. And so I dropped a YouTube link to my favorite song. It is How He Loves, which is a great song, but it's mixed with Jealous by Alyssa Smith. What? And it's unreal. So Ireland... There you go. Was it for Ireland? Well, Who asked? I can't yeah, remember. It was Ireland. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for asking. Ireland, Ireland. Did you say yours? I want to know yours. What's your Frozen 2 is weird and scary and makes no sense. Oh, I don't understand the Carole spirit. Carolee loves it. Carolee likes it. Yeah. I just I've never I seen don't it. Understand. I've never seen it. Okay, I really like Damascus worship too. Halo Queen. That's amazing we to look into that, Sarah. We praise you, worship initiative. I don't know them. I'll go check it out. I'm thinking of a song called we praise you but i doubt it's that one thanks for chatting guys sarah's like please see your way out wrap it up guys (laughs) wrap it up all right we'll be back next week same time same place i don't want to leave until ireland tells me what song she's been singing sorry ireland ireland get on this are you trying to ask us to go and ireland we're waiting for you i'm not i'm i am on the edge of my seat staying here until i hear what you hear you know what I mean? She's not oh, was there a second one? Was there a second Ireland quote? At quote? Yeah. Comment? She said about oh, Spotify. Spotify. Okay, right. you guys, uh, find us on Spotify. Oh, that's what I was looking for. Beth, talk to the peeps while I find our Spotify. It's right there. No, that's our podcast. Look at Matt Mar, silly goose. That's What's he podcast, doing? Beth. No, if you go all do the way up. Do you know we have a podcast? I do, actually. Oh, what? yeah, that is that's our podcast. Fun, you guys. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah, I love Come to the River. What else have I been listening to? Off to homeschool my kids. Bye, Sarah. Okay, we have to go. Ireland left. All right, bye. (laughs) See ya. Joanna, I'll see you next week to answer your question. Bye, Joanna. We'll be back. Okay.